everyone, it's Cheryl from Teaching Two and Three Year Olds. I recently took a trip to Goodwill and so I wanted to share with you what I found on this trip so you can get an idea of what you can find in your classroom, whether you're going to garage sales or whatever thrift stores you're going to, these are the types of things that I'm looking for. And the very first thing I absolutely look for are baskets. In fact, I might have a bit too many baskets, but really can you? But I love baskets because they are a great way to store loose parts, especially this size, like little blocks, um, whatever you want to put in here, they fit nicely on the shelf. Baskets are also a great way for when you're doing cleanup time, you just hand the child a basket and say, can you please put those blocks in this basket and put it on the shelf? So they have an actual item that they're holding and filling. Big baskets like this are great for holding bigger blocks or we like to use these to store our board books. I also like to look for these little wood trays. I love using natural materials in the classroom whenever I can. and so. These are great for the dramatic play area, or I'll use these on our table, maybe for table activities, maybe for transferring from the um, tray to whatever it is they're working on. Here's another one. They're so sturdy. Here's a nice big bowl that I found. I'm gonna use this in our dramatic play area. And muffin tins are great. They actually, we, we use it in our dramatic play area. We use this in our block area and they love these at our Play-Doh table. They love pressing the Play-Doh into these and letting me know they're making cupcakes and they always pretend it's somebody's birthday. I love finding these wood containers. I have these in different sizes depending on what kind of paper I want to put in here. But you have the writing table, we'll have different things. This would be great for envelopes or note paper. I have a bigger one that's not here that I have shared before where I'll put our printables in there and it also has a spot for our markers and our pencils. Boxes, wood boxes are great. I found these Jenga blocks. I love these. And so I took them out of their package. I put them in the box. Again, more trays. These are great for the dramatic play area or if you're having a little, um, an area where you're doing a display. These are nice too. Wood bowls and I found some pretend fruit. Books. Books are, so, it's such a deal when you find books at garage sales and thrift stores. In fact, this is how I started our library, um, our preschool library, was by going to Goodwill often and getting as many books as I could find that I knew that our children would love. And if you've been following my YouTube, videos and my classroom setups, you will know how much I love displaying our books all over our classroom. I'll even set these on the light table. It invites the children in. And so I found this, this is way different than any of the other book holders that I have. And so it's so great because you just open up the book and just set it right in there. There you go. So these were my recent finds. There's so much more. But make sure to take advantage of those garage sales that are happening and thrift stores, Goodwill, because you can get things for your classroom at a fraction of the cost and we all have a budget. So I just wanted to share with you, next time that you're at a thrift store or a garage sale, how you can look for items that'll work perfectly in all areas of your classroom. Now I'd like to hear what you have found at a thrift store recently or a garage sale? Let me know in the comments because all teachers absolutely love to hear other teachers' finds. So, have a great school year. I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching.